assisting others may find online coaching to be a satisfying career. Because you may provide coaching services over the internet, you can start a business with a minimum financial commitment. The time commitment required is a different matter. You must carefully examine your area, refresh your knowledge, precisely identify potential customers, and more as part of the process of starting an online coaching business. There is a significant amount of ramp up time. Luckily for you, Laptop Lifestyler, we will define online coaching, examine its benefits, go through the many sorts of coaching you may offer, and lay out a 10-step strategy for starting an online coaching business in this complete guide on how to start a coaching business. What is an online coach? A client is guided toward a their desired objective by an online coach who provides objectivity, passionate encouragement, and actionable advice. This service is paid for and delivered through the internet. Coaching has become a feasible career option for people who want to manage a home-based business because of technological advancements. Because of the internet, your target market can include clients from all over the world, and video conferencing allows you to build the personal connection needed to properly coach a client. We develop experience in various areas as we progress through life. Core abilities emerge, and you must examine your core talents in order to become an online coach. Examine the areas of competence that you will uniquely be paired to assist others, and then practice sharing those skills with others. What do you excel at that no one else does? Is it about saving money, being in shape, or being a parent? If you are a management or other business-related subject matter expert, can you assist people in achieving their career objectives? You can monetize your skills in any subject by charging people for assistance in that area. The overall concept is to provide expert advice and counsel via video conferencing in a systematic and monetizable manner. Instead of sharing all of your information at once, establish a program that gradually distributes your coaching tips. This technique, in theory, will not only match the client's preferred rate of progress, but will also spread the service offering across a longer period of time. Let's take a look at some of the most popular coaching niches before diving into the steps to starting an online coaching business. For your coaching business, you might choose any niche. You may be successful in helping people attain their goals if you have the necessary experience and the ability to convey it. Life Coaching A client of a life coach may seek to gain confidence, enhance coping abilities, or better regulate their anger. They may require assistance in dealing with any of life's difficulties. The target market for life coach is broad open making it a very popular niche among online coaches. Financial Coaching A financial coach usually acts as a motivator and provides valuable advice on personal finance management. They could assist with the home budget planning, saving strategy implementation, and so on. Career Coaching A career coach can assist a client who is having difficulty starting their career or wants to change careers. Wellness Coaching A coach in this specialty assists clients with health issues and fitness goals by combining personal training, nutrition, and knowledge of all things wellness. Business Coaching This is a broad area that covers coaching to help people navigate the hurdles of entrepreneurship as well as marketing and sales training. This is only a taste of the niches in which you could coach. Focus on a well-defined specialty is recommended. In many circumstances, the smaller your target audience, the easier it will be discover eligible clients. When launching an online tutoring business, there are some critical milestones to hit. We'll take you through all you need to know. Step 1. Define your goals. 
decide what kind of coaching you will offer and codify your coaching philosophy as your first step. What do you excel at? What interests you the most? What is it that many individuals require assistance with? If you jot down a few responses to each of those questions, one will very certainly appear on each of the three lists. That's exactly what you should be teaching. What is your approach to coaching? Will you provide the customer tried and true counsel to help them achieve their objectives? Or will you adopt a more organic approach, guiding them to make their own decisions? Writing a mission statement is a critical step in starting an online coaching business. It may seem odd to write a mission statement for a one-person business, but it will help you clarify your goals. You'll be able to go forward with initial preparations if you have a firm knowledge of where your coaching business is headed. Step 2. Determine who you want to reach. Who might benefit from your coaching services? Begin with basic demographics such as gender, age, and income level, and then look into other aspects that help to define your ideal customer more specifically. Identify the qualities that make someone an excellent candidate for your coaching business. If one of your early coaching engagements doesn't go as planned, it's likely because you took on a client who wasn't a suitable fit for your coaching services. Knowing everything there is to know about your target market will assist you avoiding making that mistake. Step 3. Think about certification. You may need to become accredited as an expert in your chosen coaching sector if you want to get started right away. Although it is not needed, updating your knowledge and abilities that might benefit you in two ways. You will be a better coach. Current certification will provide you with an up-to-date perspective on conventional wisdom in your field. Uncover routes to achievement you may not have considered and sharpen your understanding of what your clients may require assistance with. You'll get more customers. A certification in your field demonstrates your expertise. You'll still have to persuade people that you can coach but providing proof of your knowledge boosts your reputation and helps people believe you're the perfect coach for them. Let's take a look at how to handle your knowledge like the precious asset it is. Step 4. Make your knowledge useful. Coaching is an intangible service even among other services. As a result, viewing your assistance as a product might be beneficial when establishing your coaching business. You can commercialize your product by delivering it in a systematic manner. Let's imagine you're a financial counselor who has a repeatable approach for helping clients get out of debt in a year. You might summarize the entire strategy in a paragraph or two and cover it in one coaching session. But that method will save you very little money. On the other hand, if you break down your plan details into 12 parts, you may create a one-year program that can be delivered in monthly coaching sessions. You might provide a six-month program that specifically omits pieces 7 through 12. Clients who pay for half of the guidance and accomplish half of the work will receive half of the reward. Establishing how your expertise will be productized is an important step to consider as you develop your coaching business. Step 5. Purchase a domain and build a website. Create a supporting website and obtain a domain name that represents your coaching firm. This will function as a portal for extra content that your clients will need access to, as well as a location to send prospects to who want to learn more about your coaching service. You can utilize a WordPress theme designed for online tutoring businesses to simplify the website construction process. Hosting your website would also be no problem. You may find economical shared hosting that meets all of your demands, including options that include Turkey WordPress access and support for e-commerce capabilities, which will assist you in collecting payments from your coaching clients. 
An engaging website that describes your experience and credential will be a beneficial marketing tool as well as key component of your service offering. Step 6. Work on the fundamentals of service delivery. You will have to figure out how to give coaching services online efficiently. It all starts with locking in communication modes. First, a coaching channel. Scheduled video conferences session should be used to give your service. To ensure that the client understands your input, you'll need personal, face-to-face -face connection. For billing purposes, each session can be numbered, dated, or otherwise identified. Second, supplemental resources. You should provide gated content that supports your coaching on your website. As well as the client advances, provide new information and attract attention to this extra content throughout each coaching session. Third, a communication channel. In between coaching sessions, how will your client contact you? Establish what kind of response time the client can expect. Fourth, research your rate. The cost of online tutoring varies substantially depending on the topic. You must charge a price that is both high enough to demonstrate respectively and low enough to attract people for your services. For information on average tutoring rates in a certain niche, the internet is a valuable resource. Fifth, segment your service. Consider providing two service tiers. One strategy, a low-cost entry-level service, might be able to satisfy the client's needs in a limited way but with a quick path to first-step success. Customers will be attracted to your longer-term coaching plan, which guarantees success and assistance in obtaining more advanced goals. And lastly, require a minimum commitment. You should insist on a minimum amount of coaching sessions from your client. Offering a less expensive, short-term service option is smart for this reason. Because you will be charging your client for coaching services, it's only right that you put in the effort to build a unified service offering. All that's left now is to talk about marketing, which we'll do next. Step 7. Promote your coaching business. To attract clients to your coaching firm, you'll need to clearly define what you're giving while also promoting your credentials and experience without sounding boastful. Write messages that will resonate with your target audience and use a variety of marketing methods. Here are some marketing ideas for your online tutoring business. First, make a social media presence for your coaching lessons. You may reach a specific target demographic via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. People who suit your consumer profile should be followed. Like their posts and check out their hashtags. Second, although costly, pay-per-click advertisements will help you get your teaching firm off to a fast start. PPC advertising is very effective and has a high return on investment. Third, create a lead magnet that includes a sample of your knowledge. A downloadable PDF with limited but interesting specialist insights can help entice a potential client to sign up for coaching. And lastly, make the most of email as a marketing tool. Your lead magnet might be given away in exchange for people signing up for your newsletter. While gaining your initial few customers may take some strong self-promotion to demonstrate that you have the necessary skills to be a coach, your delighted clients will eventually become your most effective marketing weapon. That brings us to our final topic, Step 8. It's all about timing. We understand how it feels to have a great company idea and want to shout it out from the rooftops. However, time is crucial. Choosing the right time to launch your business can mean the difference between failing at the first hurdle and succeeding in the long run. The ebbs and flows of your sector, the success of your competitors, the availability of cash, your personal circumstances, your business plan, and pretty much everything else we've discussed above will all influence when you launch your company. When deciding on a launch date, it's critical to keep track of your competitors' activities. 
check to see whether your competitors have lately released a new product or service that could compete with your new endeavor. When you start your business as a disruptor in your industry, you'll often get a lot of early interest from your target market. However, don't feel rushed to launch too soon. There are numerous advantages to waiting. Seeing what your competitors have to offer and then using client feedback to help inform and develop your product or pre-launch. When examining your competitors' activities, timing can mean the difference between a successful, thriving coaching business and a starting flop. Step 9. Putting together a coaching program. Creating a framework for your online coaching programs can help you and most importantly, your clients become more efficient and achieve better results. You'll spend less time on repeated unproductive activities and more time strategizing and being present in your coaching sessions if you have a distinctive structure for your online programs. Before you even consider building and developing a coaching program, ask yourself the following questions. What is your coaching program's main focus? What problem is your target customer trying to solve? Where are they having trouble? What will your program enable your client to accomplish? The hardest aspect of creating an online coaching program or digitizing an existing in-person program is frequently just getting started. Check out Nudge Coach co-founder Phil Beanie's basic playbook for starting a new coaching program from scratch to help you get started faster. The advantages of having a well-thought-out coaching program can help you identify your coaching scope or particular area of expertise and provide superior client service. Number 10. Providing Coaching Services an online business coaching program can be delivered in a variety of styles, methods, and platforms. To keep clients engaged with your offering and brand, we advocate using a variety of content kinds. Engaging online coaching programs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they are always a combination of three factors. One, easily digestible educational material. Two, simple tracking of success for accountability, three, touch points with personal coaching. The best strategy to obtain more coaching clients is to use the endorsement of your happy clients. You'll get a wonderful recommendation if you provide excellent teaching. Collect one from each client and use it to persuade potential customers to sign up. Some of your recommendations will be more useful than others. If one of your delighted clients achieves significant achievements in your niche in a verifiable manner, you should feature their testimonial in your marketing communications. Similarly, testimonials from people who perfectly represent your target market are fantastic for generating leads. All of your marketing efforts to get your initial few clients will be amplified if you include one or more great testimonials from satisfied customers. Online teaching may be a successful and enjoyable vocation for persons with expertise who enjoy assisting others. We hope that this guide to launching a coaching business makes your transition to online coaching a little easier. You'll have your online coaching business up and operating in no time if you follow the procedures we provided. Thousands of anecdotes from successful entrepreneurs may be found on the internet. The most prevalent piece of advice we've received is to continually challenge yourself, learn new things, and never give up. All of your hard work will pay off in the long term. Meanwhile, we hope the tips in this post will assist you in getting off to a wonderful start. Remember to work hard, be adaptable, and keep things simple. And that's it for this video, Laptop Lifestyler. Remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!